rough start to them well not actually a rough start i just didn't get like i didn't go to the gym or anything because i woke up and just felt um so tired i was supposed to wake up at seven but i didn't go to bed until 12 because there was a whole brand deal film thing that went very not well that kept me up and i just had so much to do and then i watched the euphoria finale i couldn't go to bed without watching that no words i'm not gonna give any spoilers but no words um yeah i'm headed to class right now it's 10 25. i have family law and then i have like a three hour break in between i think i'm gonna come home for lunch then and yeah it's really cold out today i'm not in the mood to go to school but at least spring break is next week so that is exciting so i'm gonna head out and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I think my AirPods are broken. I'm trying to like charge them, but they don't hold a charge anymore. I'm gonna try to reset them and like let them charge and see what happens, but I think they're like done for. So I might have to buy a new pair, which like sucks, but I've had them for two years, I think. Let me know how long like they're supposed to last. Cause I've kind of read that the factory life is around two years. But that sucks, they're expensive. I don't wanna buy another pair right now. I just got home from class. I have another class. I have family law right now, or I just have family law. And then I have another class at, class at 3.55, so I'm here for a few hours. I didn't read for that class. Honestly, I don't even know if I will because I'm just writing a paper for it. I just don't even, I don't even care right now. I'm like stressed because I, some brand things I have to refilm, which is fun. I actually refilmed. I filmed an entire brand deal on this camera and then accidentally deleted it. So, um, that is all fun and well. But I just picked up some Peter Bird on the way home because my current, like, I feel like I do definitely hyperfixate on food for a long time. And my current hyperfixation is Peter Bread. Is it pronounced tzatziki? I feel like you guys are going to make fun of me, but I think that's how you say it. Um, and cucumbers with salt and pepper. So good. So I'm going to make, like, a little feta cucumber olive wrap right now all right here's lunch i had some extra cucumbers so i just salted and peppered them and have a little side of dip and then i put on the tzatziki cucumbers pepperoncini tomato olives feta shallot i'm so excited to eat this i'm so hungry i'm craving this right now like so bad you guys i'm literally so tired I did nothing productive. I did not do my reading before class because my apartment's cold, so I turned the heat on and waited, and I have, I've just been like chilling on the couch going through TikTok. I don't want to go to school. I literally have to leave in 10 minutes. Actually, I should leave in five. I'm just so comfy and tired. I want to skip, but of course, I can't do that, so. And I have to film when I get home for brands. Ugh, guys, I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, <sighs> I'm gonna chill for like two more minutes and get up and pee and then get ready to go to school. I'm heading to school. I'm so tired. Didn't do the reading for class, to be honest. Didn't feel the need. That's where I'm at this semester. I literally, like, do not care. <laughs> so, I'm going to get dressed how I am dressed. Um, that's another thing. I literally do not wear real clothes anymore. I just wear sweatshirts and sweatpants. I just, I don't, I don't have the energy to go to school and care about what I'm wearing. I just, yeah. Um, I tried to factory reset my AirPods, and now, like, they wouldn't factory reset, and they now will just not connect to anything. So I was like reading online, apparently if they like don't factory reset, 
that means there's just something wrong with the case, which makes sense because one of my AirPods won't charge, and apparently they're not supposed to last longer than two years, and it's been over two years, so I think I'm just going to go to Target on the way home and buy new AirPods, which sucks. Like, it really sucks, but I need headphones, and I don't think it's safe at night to be... Um, it's not safe at night to be walking around in these. Like, they're great for the gym and whatever, but I can't talk on the phone with them either. And I don't feel safe having these big, like, I don't know if they're noise canceling, but... Oh, goodness! Cleo is, like, losing her mind because she thinks it's dinner time. So I might get her a little snack. Look at your little feet. But, yeah. I'm gonna get my jacket and my mask and head to advanced towards which i regret taking so much i thought it was going to be a class where you like talked about like more tort cases but it's just philosophical theory behind torts like talking about like aristotle and like modern day philosophy so it's not fun but i'm just going to online shop to be honest and uh go on zillow <laughs> and it's because i'm writing paper for the class by the way but yeah, and then I'll go to Target on the way home and bite the bullet on some new AirPods because it's been like a month now with no AirPods and I was in denial. I was in the denial stage, but now I think I've come to the acceptance stage that my AirPods are done for. So Hi guys. It's a while ago. I don't know the last time I saw you. Um, I just filmed like a very time intensive brand deal. It took me like Two hours yesterday and three today. It's 11. I just finished it. Um, I basically have been doing it since I got home. So that was fun. I have a headache. I feel like I'm going to faint. I'm so tired. So I'm going to do skincare and go to bed. I just need to sleep. And I want to have time to go to the gym tomorrow. But it's already 11 and I need sleep. And I just like, ugh. So I will see you guys at some point. <laughs> in the future. Good morning when I don't wake up according to Cleo's terms. She goes to my jewelry bowl and she picks out pieces of jewelry and takes them out of the bowl and knocks them to the ground. <laughs> Was that my alarm? Stop. Cleo? Yeah. No. Anyway, good morning. I just woke up. I had like a lot of trouble falling asleep last night, but I got the best sleep. Like I feel like once I did fall asleep, I feel like lately I just like have not been sleeping well and just waking up feeling awful, but I woke up this morning and I was like, wow. I slept well and I feel good so I'm happy I'm not going to the gym again this morning maybe I'll go in between class but my body just is not feeling it this week because I've been so tired so I think I might have like a little bit of a cold I took a COVID test yesterday because I'm a little stuffy and my throat hurts and I was like, because I'm going to California this weekend, I was like, this would be a bad time to get COVID because then I wouldn't even be able to go, but it was negative. I'm going to take a PCR today, but just because I'm not feeling 100%, I'm just going to not work out. But yeah, I'm just going to lay in bed for a little longer and then get up and I have to read a little bit before class. I have class at 10.45 and it is 8.30 right now so I should get up soon. I'm gonna make some tea this morning. This is my tea drawer and also espresso pods I guess. Um, I don't have caffeine before school but I don't think that green tea like is going to push me over the edge that much. Five hours later I'm gonna be like no. I don't think this will do anything. This is, I love this brand of tea and their green tea blueberry acai is so good. So I'm going to make some of this.
I also made a big um, glass of lemon water that I'm going to drink while my, cool tea, my tea cools down. I actually woke up this morning in a good mood. And you know what? I Instead of going back and sitting in bed on my phone, I haven't looked at my phone yet. I wonder if there's a correlation with why this is the first morning I don't have a raging headache. And I'm in a bad mood when I wake up. Probably because I didn't look at my phone. It does make such a difference, but I don't. So the plan for today, I have class conflict of laws at 1045 and that goes until 1240 and then after then, after that, I think I'm going to bike straight to um, Soho and stop at Aritzia and just grab an outfit for tomorrow because the New York Rangers invited me to go sit at their game um, and like have access to the VIP lounge and stuff. So I was like, not like a big hockey fan, sports fan, not like I'm not a hockey fan, just like I'm not really, I don't really watch sports, basketball here and there a little bit, but um, I was like, kind of an opportunity you don't pass up. But I was telling you guys my last vlog, I think, but I just don't. Like, I got rid of all of my clothes. I do not have anything to wear anymore. Um, like, I don't have going out tops. I have sweatshirts, skims long sleeves, and that's literally it right now. Um, so, I'm going to pick up an outfit out of Ritzia and then come home. And then I have class again at 8 tonight. Um, and I have some work to do before class. So, I'll get that done. And yeah, that's the plan. Maybe film. I'm Thursday's gonna be a crazy filming day because I have to film a ton of stuff for brands before I leave. Because I'm gonna be gone for like 12 days where I can't film, so I've gotta get a lot of that done between Wednesday and Thursday. But I think I'll just, that's a Thursday problem for me because I'm just gonna focus on school right now. Oh yeah, because I'm reading for family law too. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna go drink this and get my reading done. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Frederick and Melody. It smells so good. It smells so good. I'm gonna start doing work for class. I don't know. I'm probably gonna chill and do work for class like after dinner or something. I did some damage. So I stopped into Sephora. Um, because for one of, I got my mom a bunch of birthday gifts because it's the first year in my life that like, thanks to social media, I actually have like money to buy my parents gifts, um, which is exciting and it's her birthday. So I got her, um, a bunch of stuff. Some stuff is from her and my dad. Like I, we got her this Meg juicer, which I just got in the package. Um, so when I got to them, I got her... The same Dior brown mascara I showed you guys in my last vlog, it's really good. And just a small, like, clean little slip hair ties because we both love them. Um, I got myself a mini dry shampoo from some traveling. I thought it was really cute. So that's from Sephora. And then from Rag and Bone, I'm not going to open hers because it's all nicely wrapped, but I have no jeans, guys. I don't have any jeans that fit me. And then, if you guys remember a few vlogs back, I like bought some from Nordstrom Rack, but they didn't really fit. And I actually just returned them today. Um, so I did some damage. And I mean like real damage at Rag and Bone. But the girl who worked there was so nice. And I was like, I don't want to spend this much on jeans, but I don't have any jeans. And they were all like, all finally I found jeans that looked nice. Um, so she was like, if you just come in later and bring in like jeans to recycle, we'll give you 20% off on all your pairs. Which was so nice, but she did not have to do that. So that brought it down a lot. It was still a very expensive <laughs> trip, but I'm really happy with what I got. So this is the first pair. They're, they say they're low rise, but I'd say they're more mid rise. They look wide leg, um, this light wash, and they literally feel like sweatpants. They're so insanely soft. They're called the um, featherweight denim. So I'm usually like a 27 or 28, but these run big. So I got a 26 in these. Um, they're so comfy. And then I was like, cause tomorrow at the Rangers game, I um, know I'm wearing a jersey. So I wanted like a little tighter jean. 
um, just like more fitting, I guess. So I got, I might go back and get these another color one day, but not today. So they're a little stiffer of a jean. They feel more like a jean. They're still wide leg. Um, I got these in a 28 and they're high rise, like just like a good black denim jean, which I don't have. Um, I love these so much. They fit so well. That's the crazy thing about jeans though, the sizing. And then, okay guys, you can judge me if you want. I would have judged myself a little bit ago. I saw online that Rag and Bone had like these sweatpants that have like a jeans pattern on them. And I was like, that is so weird. But then my mom saw them and she thought they were really cool. So I was like, I got her a pair for her birthday. And I was like, my mom's like a few jean sizes smaller than me. So I was like, um, let me try a pair on and see what size I should get my mom. And when I tried them on, I was like, wait, I literally love these. So they literally, okay, they are sweatpants. Like this is all, this is not a real button. This is like painted on. And it seems really weird, guys. I know. I thought the same thing. But they're like these cute little wide leg sweatpant jeans and they are so cute on it. and you guys know I don't like I like to be very comfy in all my clothes which is why I don't wear jeans so this is the way I'm gonna wear jeans like even like the bottoms like, you can't really tell they're sweatpants they didn't have so I got a small and I got my mom an extra small they were even like you could probably get an extra small yourself but I like I don't know I wanted them to be comfy um so I got my mom the jogger version because they didn't have the right size, and I got her a little darker wash, um, because I feel like she usually goes for darker wash, um, but they didn't have her size in the wide leg, like, and they said the joggers, like, if you're five, six or under, I'm, like, five, six and three quarters, so I feel like these work for me, but if you're five, six or under, the joggers are better because these are, like, kind of long. Okay, and then I also got my mom to... I also got my mom two Skims bralettes that I, I guess you can like at Nordstrom Rack, you can place an order from Nordstrom and then like pick it up at Nordstrom Rack because there's not a Nordstrom in Brooklyn, obviously. Well, not obviously. Uh, maybe there is somewhere, but not near me. Um, I got another one of these at Nordstrom Rack because I was like <laughs> checking out and when I went to go return and I love these hair towels. It was $19 at Nordstrom Rack. I think they're usually like 30 I have three of them now. This is my third one. They're just really, really good. They dry your hair so fast and anti spread and then okay guys i took this as a sign i saw this girl on tiktok talking about the new face like trinity face toner and i was like massager toner or whatever it's called and she showed like she did one side of her face and it literally lifted her entire face from one time of using it and she was like i got it i wasn't gonna get this but i got a nurse rack and then i like jumped in nurse rack and of course it was sold out and then I went to Sephora and I was gonna maybe get a Sephora for full price because that's how crazy the TikTok was. Like it changed, like it gave her a jawline and just lifted everything. And I was like, oh my God. But then Nordstrom Rack, even though it sold out online, if you guys live in Brooklyn, run to the Nordstrom Rack on Fulton because they had so many. And it's like this, it's a facial toning kit. Like I don't know where the TikTok is, but she showed like literally it like actually lifts your face like crazy. So this was originally $3.39 and I got it for $1.59. Which I think is a pretty good deal. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna open some packages and I got the rug for my bedroom, which I'm so excited about. I also got some PR in the mail. Um, this brand, Sebastian Neep, I think that's how you say it um sent me something with a handwritten note card which i love so it's called because i'm saying it right they sent me first they sent there's like little uh packaging stuff in it still but this is a um self-care daily journal oh cute and it has today's self-care, how I feel today, intentions, gratitude, mantra, daily prompt. And it gives you a little daily, dif different daily prompt every day. That's really cute. And then I think these are the actual products. So, oh, cute. They sent a eucalyptus bath oil. 
I love eucalyptus in the bath. Um, it's so good. Just but reminder to kitty owners, eucalyptus is very toxic to cats, so when you use it, make sure to like rinse out the bath well after. Um, if your cats go in your bathtub, which Cleo might do. And they also sent their mineral bath salts. I am so excited. I can like smell it through. It smells so good. It smells like Equinox because Equinox has eucalyptus everything. Thank you. This is so cute. How do I open this? I feel like I open it from the top. Oh, I am already looking at this package and loving it, guys. Um, I see Super Goop peeking through. So they said, thanks for letting us share our new spring arrivals and tried and true classics with you. All our friends at Supergroup also threw in some extra goodies to get you ready, ready for the sunny seasons ahead. Cute. Another handwritten card, two in a row. This is from Splendid. Um, wow. So they sent me slippers. These look amazing. You guys know I love a good slipper. Um, they threw in some super goop, the glow stick, which I literally, and the glow screen, I love the glow screen and the unseen sunscreen, and I almost bought more of this today, which is so funny. Um, and then, oh, they sent so much stuff, guys. This is so nice. Let me see. Okay. So... Wait, this is so cute. They sent a little white tank. You guys know I love a good white tank. Um, and then it looks like they sent little cute matching underwear with it. Let me see. It's like Christmas today. Oh, these are adorable. So this is a cute little um, ribs like tank underwear set to sleep in. I love that. And then... Oh my god, whatever this I'm holding is, it's very soft. Guys, this is so cute. It's a little black turtleneck, and I just finally donated my turtleneck that I had, my black turtleneck, because it was so, it had been through a lot. This is perfect timing, like literally perfect timing. And it's so soft, and the turtleneck's like thick, and it feels like it has like a lot of structure. You know how some turtlenecks like sag? And then... Hey, Luna, we're doing a little unboxing here. Oh my god. Hey, Luna, excuse me. Luna. This, whatever I'm holding, is so... Oh, guys, it's cute. It's a little pajama lounge set. I literally am going to wash this and put this on for class tonight. It is so soft. Like, so soft. I'm so excited. And there's more. Wow, I can already tell this is really cute. Looney. Okay, what's this? Oh, how cute. Looney, hey, 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 move. This is like a cute little linen flowy shirt. Um, that's so good for spring. Very cute. And looks like we have one more little cozy lounge set. Oh my god, guys, this is so soft. Like, so wow. Okay, so here's the top. It's so soft, but like not too thick. This really is like perfect for spring. And then, um,. They sent, oh cute, matching little jogger pants. I'm so excited and I love traveling with little pajama sets. So I am thrilled. Thank you so much, Splendid. This was so nice and I'm so excited for everything. This was like literally Christmas today. Drink Poppy, which I am obsessed with. Their stuff, their drinks are, all of them are amazing. My favorite is the strawberry lemonade one, but they're all so good. They sent me a little drink hockey sweatsuit, and you guys know this blue is my favorite color. Like, literally my favorite color to wear. And they sent this little adorable 
package. I don't want the drinks to roll out, but they sent their little drinks and a little drink poppy hat. So I literally love all the flavors. Though I've never tried their grapefruit before. Um, these are like sodas that are good for you. So they have really clean ingredients. Um, it's just sparkling filtered water, apple cider vinegar. This one's my favorite one, strawberry lemonade. Um, lemon juice, strawberry juice, organic cane sugar, natural flavors, and stevia, and it also has prebiotics, so they're like literally good for you. Um, and they're so yummy, so that was so cute. Thank you, Poppy. Look at the cutest package. Ooh, lost the can. But yeah, the packaging is so cute, and the drinks are so good. Here's the rug that's going to go in my room. It's really big. I think I'm going to film a TikTok of me putting it in my room right now, so... I'm gonna have to like take my entire bed out of my room. It's gonna be a lot of work. <laughs> okay, the living room now is a disaster. But look at how empty my room is. It's weird, it has an echo in here right now. I just vacuumed all the floors. But have you guys seen my room this empty? I don't know if I ever did like an empty apartment tour, did I? Maybe I did. Um, but yeah, so took the bed out. It's so weird, it feels so big in here. <laughs> I like it. But we're gonna put the bed back in. I'm so excited. I think that the rug is gonna make it look so good. Okay, I'm so out of breath. That was quite a process. But it's hard to like show you the full view of the room, but it looks so good. It just feels so cozy and it brings a little pink in. I was like hesitant at first to put a rug in the room because my mom was like, it'll make the room feel smaller, which the room does definitely feel smaller now, but it's not really smaller in a bad way. Like it just feels so comfy and cozy. What do you guys think? I wish like I could get a better angle. But it takes up like the whole room. It definitely does, but I am so, my room just feels so comfy. It's a while later. I'm scared to talk because I'm in class right now. Um, but yeah, I made a salad. It's 8.30. I literally have been going nonstop. I'm in pre-bar right now, so we're doing MPT prep, which is basically like this 90 minute paper. So I'm supposed to be writing a paper right now, but it usually never takes me, it never takes me 90 minutes. So, um, I made this salad with just stuff I had in my fridge. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking quiet because I'm always scared I'm not on mute. Um, lettuce, cucumber, salt, pepper, tzatziki, crushed pita, kalamata olives, pepperoncini, feta. I think that's it. I was out of shallot and tomato. Oh, and avocado I put on this. And I had some frozen DiGiorno earlier, but it's been like nonstop today. I've not had any time to chill. <laughs> I have class until 10, so I'm going to eat this and then work on my MPT. I'll see you guys later. Good morning, cute princess. Do you love your new bed? Do you love your new bed, you cute girl? You guys, look how cute she is. Oh, goodness. Good morning. I'm putting on socks. I've got to leave for school right now. Um, it's gonna be like 50 degrees today and it's sunny so that's good. I had like a slow morning. I woke up just so happy. I don't know how to explain but this rug makes my room feel so much safer. Like I had so many good dreams last night and I just feel like, I don't know, it's transformed the whole room. It's transformed the whole room. Like, I, did, I don't know how to explain, except that it literally makes my room feel safer. I don't know if that makes sense. But it just feels so cozy. Um, the best decision I've ever made. Cleo, what do you see? And I love the kitty girl's new bed. I have to go to school right now. I have class. I'm just going to run errands in between class and try to also get some walking in. Um, I have family law and then, like, an hour break in between. And then I have products liability. So I have to go drop some jeans off at Rag and Bone since they gave me that discount yesterday. And I might get one more pair of jeans, guys, because 
I feel like the black jeans won't go with the jersey. <laughs> so I might buy one more pair while I'm there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go get everything done. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Guys, it's a while later. It is 6.30. My Uber should be arriving here any second. And I'm heading to Madison Square Garden to meet Cece to have our whole Rangers experience. I'm excited. I have a really bad headache right now because it's just been a stressful day. I'll get into it later. But right now I need to go head down to the lobby because I think my Uber is here. So I'm wearing just some... Um, I don't want to unzip this jacket because it's hard to zip, but I'm just wearing skins. <clears throat> Uh, long sleeves, so I'm going to put the jersey over, and my new rag and bone jeans that feel like sweatpants. Not the actual sweatpants ones, but the ones that feel like sweatpants, so I'm going to go. I'll see you in a little bit. Margaritas, so cheers. cheers! Cheers! I'm not allowed to show this in the TikTok, but I think I can show it on YouTube. It's not bad because I asked for salt, and I didn't know it was like you had to like go on an excursion to find it. I wasn't asked for it if it was that. I just don't oh, yeah, have salt. But come say hi to the vlog. Please with me. If you don't follow her on YouTube or subscribe to her on YouTube, I guess it's the proper term. I'll put her YouTube on the screen. And yeah, cheers. These are good margaritas. home and I know the west side highway is somewhere near me so I'm biking home because it's actually pretty warm out because it'll be fun. 